Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 13 now. We're over halfway into the book. There's 24 chapters, but actually the last chapters are a little bit less than the first. We're going to look at 13, 1 to 5 today in the Gospel of Luke. There were present at that season some who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answered and said to them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those 18 on whom the tower of Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. So here's a couple of incidents that happened, and they were widely known at the time. We don't know a lot about them today, but we would assume that they were widely known because Jesus is referring to these. They all knew about it, the blood that Pilate had mingled with this. He'd killed these people who were giving sacrifices, and that was a great indignation. And so some people thought, well, they must be judged by God. They must have, how, how for that to be allowed, it must have been that they were terrible people. But we leap to these conclusions. And it's not necessarily so. Jesus says people have leapt to conclusions, like that these people are worse than everybody else. He says, don't worry about all these other people. You focus on your heart. Are you ready? Are you, are you being evil? And we all, we all are guilty, everybody except Jesus. We've all come short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. We've all uh, turned. It's at a point we turn rebel against the kingdom. We turn rebel against God. And we said, not your way, my way. And that very spirit, that's the spirit that we want to repent of and be transformed and be changed on. And Jesus is so glad to do that. So the people on whom the tower fell, they were viewed by many as being much worse uh, people because that terrible thing happened to them. And so, so it must be that they were bad, uh, you know, and yet we all need to repent. Jesus keeps pointing back to you. Check your own heart. Unless you repent, verse 3, you will all likewise perish. So this, is, uh, this isn't like, you know, some people are a lot worse than other people. This is important that my heart be right with God. So all people are fallen. We've all come short. We've all turned rebel, you know, intentionally saying, okay, I know this is right and I'm doing my own thing anyway. We've all done that. And so we all need to turn back and say, God, please transform me. I now accept. I've come to a different place. I now accept your view of morality, and I throw my view of morality away. I'm accepting the Bible view, the view you have, you have revealed to humans. And so I accept that, and I am looking for your help there. Please, Lord, be my helper and my guide. And so there we have it. An important thing. If you think that, you know, maybe you're better than other people because you've got a nicer equipment or you've got better looks or your voice is better or whatever it might be, let's let the Lord God help us be right. Let's pray to him. Dear Father in heaven, unless we repent, we will likewise perish. We need to repent. We need to turn, turn, dramatically turn, sharply turn uh, back to your way. Be our leader, be our guide. And help us not to think that other people are worse because this happened or that happened. Help us not to set ourselves apart. We have no basis for that. In fact, Jesus tells us plainly that every person must turn. And so help us to take that completely to our heart. In Jesus' name we ask, amen. No, you're not better than the next guy and you're maybe not a lot worse, but we all have come short. We all have sinned and we all need to turn and return to the King of Heaven. May his blessings be upon you today as this day is one little piece of your returning to him.